All right, guys, nice day in the shop today. I got the garage door open. It's like in the 60s and uh, got some face milling to do here. So uh, I have to make some more of those egg flippers. I did a video a while ago, uh, lathe work with my daughter, I think it was called. Anyway, I was building some uh, deals that go in a machine, run on a shaft and flip eggs from one side of a conveyor belt to another. Anyway, uh, apparently they worked. I got to build some more of them. We're just doing a short run here, 14 of them. Uh, so I decided I wasn't going to do it on the lathe and, you know, bore each one individually. I decided I was going to go ahead, uh, set up my mill here with a reamer to go ahead and ream the uh, di internal diameter of it. And I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and cut the uh, slot or chamfer on the outside on the mill as well. I might do it on the lathe, but I haven't quite decided yet. Uh, anyway, so basically I've got a big rotary table down here. That guy right there. Uh, and what I need to be able to do is mount a three jaw chuck on top of it. So I've got a big slug of aluminum here that I got off eBay. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and surface it here so it's nice and flat to set that chuck on top of. So I've just got a Sandvik face mill set up in here. You see that dude right there? And uh, we are uh, getting ready to do some face milling here. So let's uh, get to it. Should be set up. I got to hit the rock. Oh, hit the uh, hit the go button there. We'll get over close to it here. All right, there. It looks like we're pecking it. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and hit the power feed and let it eat.
All right, so this is gonna be the base plate for uh, the chuck that's gonna go on my rotary table. We're gonna go ahead, mount this guy on that, and then we'll go ahead and drill some holes in the corner of that uh, plate there so we can just easily mount this and index it on my rotary table. So need to go ahead and this uh, should fit nicely on there. I just gotta drill three holes in it there, locate the bolt pattern, and uh, we can go ahead and mount that guy on there. All right guys, so as you can see here, we got our mounting plate there uh, centered up on the rotary table. And then we got our chuck centered up on that. Basically a uh, buddy of mine, this was before I had a lathe, turned me the centering plug here, which is just a uh, piece of 4140 with a taper that goes down in the middle of the uh, rotary table here and centers it. And then you can just run this down into your three jaw tighten that up, center this guy, tighten your bolts down on it, and then you've got this centered on that. So then we can go ahead, put an end mill in this guy, pull our centering plug out of there, turn this guy around here, and I can cut a little recess from my parts in here.
All right guys, so I'm thrilled. This uh, is gonna hold my parts just exactly the way I wanted them. Figured I'd let you see this here. So yeah, my soft jaws here are cut for real similar radius, just a little bit different than the uh, actual part here. It's gonna hold my part real nice. And uh, most importantly, I should be able to do these really fast. Uh, this first production run, I'm doing 14 of them and then I'm doing 180 of them. So I need to be able to crank these guys out real fast. So basically I'm just gonna be able to come over here turn this guy and that'll put my chamfer around the outside edge there so this should go really fast i'm real happy about it